You can't imagine how strong they are. Each day there is a new crime, not one dozen of them. For instance, this killing of Paolo Giacone. It's a typical Camorra job. We'll get the murderer, Your Excellency. But the government in Rome did not send me down here to solve just one murder. The thing we want to accomplish is more important. We want to wipe out the whole organization in one single stroke, completely. Don't you agree, sir? Listen, my friend. Your intentions are magnificent and praiseworthy. You don't know Naples and you don't know the Camorra. You see, the Camorra by now knows exactly what you have in mind, why Rome sent you here. They are well informed and they have a perfect organization. With all due respect to you for your advice, sir, I trust I'll have your full cooperation. Of course. Your papers are in order. What can I do for you? Nothing. Leave the Camorra alone for now. Leave the Camorra alone? I thought you wanted to wipe them out. That's right. Once and for all. New drive gets the Camorra. Read all about the big reward. Government wakes up, sends emissary to fight tomorrow. Who gave the story to the newspapers? His Excellency, personally. Oh. Anything else? A man with a young lady wants to see you about the reward. All right, show them in. Please. Please, sit down. Yes? I'm here to claim the reward. What information can you give me? Anything you want to know. Indeed. Then I suppose you can tell me who the real chief of the Camara is. Yes, my father. What? Sorry, I forgot. May I introduce the Major? My father. Glad to meet you, Major. I hope you'll enjoy your stay in Naples. You, the leader of the Camara? How can you prove it? You'll have the proof. There's time. And plenty of it. And you have the audacity to come into my office. Why not? After all, the reward is for my head. It's only fair that I should get it. Aren't you afraid of being arrested? Listen, Major. Some years ago, they arrested a leader of the Camorra. Would you like to know what happened? Not a person stirred in all of Naples. No ships were loaded. No shops opened. No food and coal was delivered. Naples was a dead city, and I mean dead. And besides, Major, if I'm arrested, my lieutenant will take over and his deputy will follow, and so it goes on down the line. Papa, you have to explain all this now. He comes from Rome. A foreigner, he must be told. Later, Papa. Now, do I get the reward? Not so fast, young lady. There's no need to hurry, Nanella. I have something much more important to discuss with the Major. I want the police to stop investigating the murder of Paolo Giacone. So, now you want to give orders to the police? Paolo Giacone was one of us. That is why they should be handled by the Camorra. This dirty crime should not remain unpunished. If the police start making inquiries, it will only cause a mess for everyone. You see, we know His Majesty's police too well. You must be crazy, Sinetti. I have issued more death sentences this year than His Majesty the King. And my death sentences really mean death. I want you to understand this, Major, because you seem to be a nice fellow, and you should know what you're up against here in Naples. Nenella, give the Major our calling card so that he knows where to find us. And now, goodbye, Major. Come, Nenella. What are you doing here? You are crazy. Come quickly. What happened? Why did you leave the house? I had to see you. Uh, but you know that I rush home as soon as I finished here. If they catch you, they'll kill you. Oh, darling. Oh, go home. I couldn't go on. You were here. You laugh, you sing. Everybody can see you, speak to you. But I'm shut in there, without you. 
I thought I'd go mad. Pepe, I love you. I never loved anyone before. Believe me. Kiss me. for Pietro Manzelli, 10 lira. A cradle for Margarita Beppo's baby, 5 lira. The council decides to send Antonio Grimaldi's children to the mountains for their health. Expense, 25 lira. Very ill of Giuseppe Benedetti, killed in a fight with the police, 35 lira. Gentlemen, I have the pleasure to announce that we still have 45 lira in our treasury, although business is very slow at the moment. This closes the report. Now the second order of the day. Request of Antonio Di Laura to be accepted as a member of the Camorra. Show him in. Antonio Di Laura. I'm obedient servant. Come. Do you realize what it means to become a Camorrist? I do, sir. It's a great honor. You know our code. Sacrifice everything, even my life for the Camorra. And the duties for the Camorrist? Absolute obedience, absolute secrecy, and to be courageous in the face of danger. Let's see how courageous you are. Pick it up. Bravo. The oath. I swear before God to be true to your society and respect it not even at the cost of my life. Antonio, this is yours. Thank you, sir. You are a member of the Camorra from now on. Now for the third order of the day. Our beloved king has sent a new officer from Rome to smash the, the evil Camorra. I have amongst us now. He must think that we are all fools. Does he think he comes here to our meeting unobserved? I must say, I am amused by his presence. <laughs> come to you this time, Major, because we will consider you as our guest. But remember, don't take advantage of our hospitality next time. We harm no one who leaves us alone. But if somebody annoys us, we can be very unpleasant. Now you can go and tell your king what you saw and don't come here again unless you're asked. It was an honor having you here. Good night, Major. <laughs> Whose knife is this? Mine. Maybe I have breached the laws of hospitality but it is not polite to tear the coat of a guest, either. A fine man. Pity that the king got him first. Item number four regards the murder of Paolo Giacone. This is serious. Like it? Dolores has told me to buy it for you. She pawned her earrings for it. I was not supposed to tell you. She really takes good care of Shut you. Shut up! Hello, Otto. Sorry to have kept you waiting, darling. I was delayed. Waiting? Waiting for what? For me, of course. Don't you like it? No, I don't. I hate it. Sorry, I have to go. I got a job. Uh, two English ladies, absolutely crazy, very rich. They came in a small motor yacht. Uh, tonight they want to see the underworld of Naples, so I'm going to take them to the Green Olive. The Green Olive? I used to go there. Had a lot of fun in the old days. I'll come too, Otto. Goodbye, Otto. Goodbye, Dolores. 
What's got into you, Pepe? What kind of a man am I? Depending on a woman to buy me clothes and keep me alive. I'm sick of it, sick of your charity. It's only for a little while. You've been saying that for days. How much longer do I have to be cooped up in here? Darling, you are tired. Tired? What from? Lying here day after day, waiting for the next meal you buy me? Don't be angry with me, Pepe. I'm not angry with you, Dolores. It's hard for you to understand. But this, to me, is just like getting out of one jail into another. I've got to get away from here. Not yet. You can't. You wouldn't stand a chance, and I don't want to lose you. We'll go away. We'll start a new life somewhere together. You're my man, aren't you, Pepe? Of course, Dolores. Of course. I have to go now. Don't worry, darling. Everything's going to be all right. Pleasant surprise. Is this call personal or duty? Partly duty, Signorina. I came to bring the reward. And this is personal. Oh, you're very nice. And you're very lovely. Is there no wine for an officer of His Majesty's forces? What an honor. I'll go down to the cellar for the best wine. You better see if it's all there. Mm, I'm sure it is. But I'd better count it. Welcome, Major. This is the kind of call we like. Hello. Don't forget the tangente. The Camorra always takes 10%, you know. But of course, you know everything about the Camorra, I am sure. No, not everything. But I'm learning little by little. Please, Major. Thank you. And what do you plan to do with your information? My friend, I am here as a guest. I interrogate no one, so don't question me. Thank you. Here is the tangente, Father. A beautiful girl, your daughter. Yes, she is. And smart. Very smart. You'll be a lucky man who gets her. You are right. Tell me, Sinetti, this test with the knives, is that all you have to do to become a member of the Camorra? Why, do you want to join us? <laughs> His Majesty selects wise foxes. Forget about it, Major. Tell me, did the police find out anything about the murder of Paolo Giacone? Didn't you tell me the police shouldn't interfere? Pietro, the man you're looking for has just come in. Where? See the two over there? The one who was paying. I can tell you we had fun. This place was my favorite inn. There's a beautiful girl. I'm going to dance with her. Camorra. What has she got to do with the Camorra? Father. Who cares about the father? I'm interested in the girl.
Jack said, Miss Salon. Oh, we did, old dog. And here, my dear ladies, is the Green Olive Inn, the most dangerous tavern you can find in Naples. Oh, really? Oh, how exciting. Come on, let's all go in. This way, please. Why, I think this place is simply lovely. Which foreigners? The most expensive wine you've got, huh? We're not through yet. Music. I've got to work. I can't dance the whole night with you. Who are you anyway? You wouldn't know me. I've been away a long time. But I'm going to stay around a while, now that I've found you. Really? Bring that man here, the one dancing with my daughter. Chief wants to see you. Tell him I'll see him when I'm good and ready. I don't think my father would like that. Your father? That's different. I'll come right after the dance. This will help you. Thanks. Another one? No. Coffee? No. That man who took the boat, you know him? No. Don't be frightened.
stop the motor, we'll anchor here. Don't you understand? Get out! Do you hear me? Get out! Go back to her if that's what you want, I don't care. You could go away and never come back! I hate you! Didn't you have enough fighting for one night? Why did you go with her? I came back, didn't I? You're back. You're back. My love, I thought I'd lost you. I wanted to die. Never leave me, Pepe. I couldn't live without you. Pepe Lacoma, you're under arrest. I tell you, Father, he's innocent. He's innocent. That's enough. I don't want to hear another word about him. Good morning. Ah, another visit from the Major. Sit down. I'll get some wine. Thanks. Good morning, Signorina. I suppose you came to be congratulated on your capture. I'm sure the king will give you a promotion. I only did my duty, Nunella. I brought you this. You can keep them. Yesterday you liked them. That was yesterday. A lot of things have changed since then. Yes, they have. And now I suppose you've come to propose to me. With handcuffs! Oh, a great day for the police, Major. But you wouldn't have got him without the Camorra's help. The important thing is, we got him. Yes, you've got him. But we'll get him back, Major. The Camorra gets whoever it wants. You're mistaken, Sinetti. The murderer will stand trial in the court of justice. That's what we'll see, Major. We shall see. <laughs>
do you want? I've been looking for you all day, everywhere. What for? Pip is in danger. We must help him. Why did you come to me? Why don't you help him? How? How could I? How could you? What do you know about life? About love? What do you know about men? Forget Pippi. He belongs to me. If he's in danger, I'll help him. He's my man. And he'll always come back to me. Because I'm in his blood like he's in mine. Remember that. Pippi's life is in danger. The Camorra's got him. We've got no time to lose. Pepe Lacoma has killed and robbed a member of the Camorra. He deserves the death sentence. Because our law says that killing a Camorrist is one of the three crimes our society always punishes by death. The first is killing a brother Camorrist. The second is stealing the wife of a Camorrist. The third crime is cheating the Camorra out of money. This man is guilty of all three crimes. I demand that the penalty be death. Defense may proceed. Camorrists, I beg you to grant Pepe Lacoma the benefit of extenuating circumstances. I plead for leniency. I object. Lacoma is guilty. He broke our law. He was brought here for a crime that the law of the Camorra punishes by death. We cannot admit leniency. My conclusion is that he should be punished by death. That's right. Kill him. Kill him. Yes. Yes. Kill him leniency? No. And you? No. It's unanimous. It's death. Open the door. So far, this woman wants to be heard as a witness in the case. You must listen. Too late, Manila. We sentenced him to death. But she can tell you why he killed Paola Giacomi. The trial is over. You've got to listen to me. Pepe saved my life. You must believe me when I tell you Paolo wasn't worthy of the Camorra. He stole my jewels and tried to kill me. And I found out that three years ago he killed another girl for her money and framed Pepe. And this dirty swine. He is the one who lied to the police. Is that true? Speak up, tell them the truth. What could I do? Paolo forced me to. And that night, Paolo was about to kill me. But Pepe came just in time and shot him. I owe my life to this man. Do you swear you're telling the truth? By all that is sacred to me, I swear that everything I said is true. In the light of these new facts, we must reconsider. This testimony changes everything. It is my solemn duty to request his acquittal and immediate release. What is the prosecutor to say? Camorra is severe but fair. I agree. And I personally consider him worthy of membership in the Camorra. My career as chief of police, I've had some strange experiences, but never as strange as this. Police had to stay there helpless while this mob of Camorras kidnapped our prisoner. The man.